we're going to be doing a little unboxing today of this beautiful bubble tea like collection set that I bought from Bubble Panda I think it's called. Um, it comes with like the cup, tea, the bubble balls, some jellies, um, some other accessories and stuff so I'm very excited to show you. It's very cutely packaged so it has all this lovely like decoration with the tea cups some ingredients and recipes. Voila! Ooh, it looks very fancy. So I'll get them all out and I'll show you them individually. So I've shown you it comes with a little recipe card. Then you've got like, I picked the mixed one. So you had like the traditional milk tea stuff and then like the fruit tea stuff. So we have cantaloupe melon bubbles. So you can see them there, a nice yellow colour. Then we've got lychee bubbles. Very nice noise. And then pineapple jelly. It's a lovely noise. And then raspberry bubbles. No tapioca though. Um, next we have like powders, I think. I'm not sure what these are for. Oh, these are the actual tea. So there is coconut, peach syrup, mango, and strawberry syrup. Ooh, looks cool. That was like more watery than the, that one like got bits in. So cool. The actual tea bags. So there is Twining's green tea, and I just got a giant drink, uh, Twining's Azam tea. I've never had that one before, so that'll be interesting to try. Uh, that is all the tea bits. The next bits were like the accessories for the cup. So it came with a straw cleaner and a reusable straw. Very nice. Make sure there's no like mould growing in your straw. It's plastic as well. I know a lot of people might prefer the glass, but it's not single-use plastic. It is reusable. And then the beautiful reusable bubble tea cup. 700 mils, so let's have a little look at it. Voila! Very nice packaging. Oh, BPA-free as well. Doubly insulated for both hot and cold. Leak proof with the um, like stopper for the straw. Wash, not dishwasher, or microwave safe. Cute. Voila. And there's the beautiful cup. It's huge. It's like the size of my forearm. <laughs> That'll hold a lot. But yeah, it's nice. It's quite light actually. It's a bit top heavy, but yeah. So it's got the stopper for the straw. So I'm assuming you push that out push the straw in that way and voila you've got your straw and then when you're on the go you can take your straw around and put the stopper in and it won't leak very cool i like the design very like cute colorful and then it's got like the brand logo on the front so yeah that's very cute there let me move these out of the way because they're distracting me sorry if they distracted you so far out of the video and then the last bit that i got was a little key ring so it's got the brand logo on and then it's a little blue like bobber tea key ring it's got the tapioca balls at the bottom and then some ice cubes and then a little panda with his tongue stuck out it's very cute it's got a clip or a loop attachment so nice so let's have a little read so it's the most popular mixes so you have raspberry and peach which has green tea, peach syrup and raspberry bubbles, strawberry, strawberry and cantaloupe melon, which is the Azam black tea. Oh, it's black tea. That's why. Um, strawberry syrup, cantaloupe melon bubbles. The mango and lychee is the green tea, mango milk powder and lychee bubbles. And the coconut and pineapple, which is the Azam black tea, coconut milk powder and pineapple jelly. Not suitable for making if you're under 12 and not super suitable for drinking if you're under five. And then it gives you the instructions. So step one, for fruit tea, add 250 ml 
or for milk tea, add 150 of boiled water to your tea bag in a large bowl or shaker and allow the tea to brew for two to three minutes. Step two, remove the tea bag and add the fruit syrup or milk powder to the tea. Mix with a spoon for 20 to 30 seconds. Add two handfuls of ice, approximately six large ice cubes to your bowl or shaker and stir or shake until the mixture is cool. For milk tea, then add 100 ml of milk or milk alternative and stir. Pour and mix, including ice, into your glass, leaving space for the topping. Add your bubbles or jelly to the glass, plus plus more ice if needed. Um, finish with a straw, sit back and enjoy. And it all lasts like within 30 days, so it's very nice. So yeah, bit of a quick video just to power through, showing you what I've got. I'm going to do another video when I make my first one. I'm not in the mood to make one at the moment today, but I just wanted to show you my beautiful bubble tea-ness so yeah thank you i'll see you again